Hi everyone, Siege here and we're back to Monster Train. So, yesterday I played two games. The first one, I lost. The second one, I technically won but I did reset a lot. And unfortunately, that game did not have a full recording because I got tilted. Uh, I was really tired, I guess, from work because usually I'm doing this after work. Uh, I do have a bit of rest before I start recording. However, uh, due to the nature of the run, I think it tilted me to the point that I just stopped recording. And uh, one of the reasons for that is that I was resetting too much. And I really want to stop doing that. So I don't want to uh, make mistakes. And although they should be avoided, uh, I should also avoid resets. So we're going to try to continue on with the game. I did win on that previous run with Wendleton. Um, this champion, I think, challenged me a lot. Challenges me a lot harder than you may say Tethys or Penumbra. That's in my case. Uh, I can't seem to find some decent line to win with this, especially with some problems that needed to be solved, like patient, for example. So. I guess we move on to Soul Guard. And even though today's work was a lot of tiring because I had to use a lot of brain cells there, we are gonna try to squeeze out maybe one, two, or if we are possible, three runs for the day. So I won't like to delay that much. So let's get on and siege that terrain. Let's see what we have for today. How hard is it gonna be? We have Pushback Talus, Summon Curse Fell, and Chased Seraph. One of the um, less harshful ones of the bunch, I would say. And we have Crip Builder, Sharpen, and Cuttle Hex with Exile Stygian and Exile Awoken. Here we go again with the Woken. So hopefully we get blessed by the RNG gods, or maybe we can just brain this out and secure a win. So let's go and check. Let's start with the horde first, but before we do that, let's check our seed or path generation. We have one, two, three, four temples. No late game temple on ring eight. We are starting off with a double horde. That's not that ideal. We are lined up for Stygian with the Merchant of Steel against the Merchant of Magic with Awoken. Now, having um, root seeds here means magic shops are a lot desirable for us. Ring 3 though gives us um, a very clear choice, I would say. Probably the right side for this. So I think maybe the path may be an incant line for this because we do have four gun powers with root seeds. So maybe it's something like steel, magic, then maybe steel again. Or maybe you can do go double magic then steel shop. That's also a possibility. But I think I'd like to see a Stygian banner in this run. I have been with Awoken for quite a while now. Uh, that ring 4 though is against a hell vent with pyromains and boons. Not that good of a side. So probably the left side for ring 4. For ring 5, we have a Merchant of Steel with Horde and pyromains. Against uh, Caverns, Boons, Trinket. Hmm... Considering rank 5, it's gonna be the left side there. On ring 6 though, you have a very powerful Vortex Hellvent Caverns there. Pretty good against an okay magic shop. 
probably want to make value out of ring 6 on the left side. Now on the right side, you do have another wonderful magic shop with vortex and boons. And on the last ring, which is ring 8, you have the merchant of magic with another vortex helmet. I'd say overall a very good seed generation with a lot of emphasis on some merchant of magics. So yeah, maybe we can um, stir up an encant line here and secure a win. The Horde says Stinks and Mark of a Champion. We don't have Stinks in this deck. The Mark of a Champion though is dependent upon what we see. Not all of Soul Guard's lines have damage except Titan Channel which has a lot. Stinks also it's not a certainty here. Yeah, it's not a certainty but we may see some stings i think going for mark of a champion with this kind of starter is much better if we do see um titan channel i think we pop off here quite strongly and this is also not a very good line for uh, cold channel, I would suppose. Because don't have anything to buff him up except root seeds. So both are perspective takes in this case. And I think I will go with Mark of a Champion here. Check the forge. And we are given the choice. A Titan's channel or a cold channel. With this line, I will go with Titan Channel. The good thing about this guy is he um, overrides that uh, Ember Drain on the top. So we're going to go for him. And with that, I think we might be strong enough to take the Horde here, which I will. And we are given an option for Mallet, Lost Luggage, and Jack Strips. I will go for Lost Luggage here. It's a very strong opening relic and it allows you to see your deck quite fast. E unit Draft here. I think we can take this. We only need 4 incans to bring Soul Guard online and with all of this draw from lost luggage i think that's very doable let's drop him there he gets a lot of bonus damage from uh mark of a champion so well played there and we want to put a cuttle hex here as well for freezing some cards in our hand I will play a uh, double root seed here. No, just one. And I will try to foregun power so that we can unlock Soul Guard as soon as possible. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way for us to get a uh, medal. Yeah, that collector is gonna go free. So probably just root seeds root seeds play the train steward to get it out of the deck i would suppose and um safe to put it in bottom because it dies to the foot soldier okay we kill everyone here that's good i think i would like to get rid of this front guy so i do have access to that foot soldier next turn and with enough luck not enough luck we're supposed to get that person there but unfortunately we couldn't i will play a sharpen here and one root seeds in back with uh, another forgan power on the boss okay we did take some damage here and i 
think I will play this Crypt Builder here. Get that out of the way. And I think with this, we get out of it without that much of a problem. I think we played that quite well. Didn't get the collector, but we get the unit draft. We do want a ping here. We don't have one, and Flash is a very strong ping here. And healing is good. But I think Razor Sharp is not skippable here. And uh, we do have an option for Titan Sentry, Ice Sweeper, and Guard of the Unnamed. I think Sentry here is a very good pick. Diversifies our Steel Shops, making this left side here very pickable. Yeah, let's go left. Quick. Strand Stone and Spikes. Tenon Piercing, Spell Chain. And Banner says, there's your Siren. So, with this line, I think the better choice with Razor Sharp Edge in the pool I think it's Siren of the Sea, so we can offset. And I think... Hmm. Do I reroll here? For a plus incant armor too? I don't think so. I think we can sit on this, not get any spell chains might be good. Then in piercing, maybe in flash freeze, but we're going to 25 for that. 35 here, probably 50 here. I think that's a decent enough then in piercing that I'll be fine with it, so let's take it. Let's go for ring 2 combat. It's another unit draft. Hmm. With a ping at back, I think we can manage this. Although it's only one, but I think it's decent enough that we can get away with this. So it's Soul Guard, Siren. I might want to ping here, get rid of this person. Yeah, play shark and four gun power up top. Okay, we do get the collector here, that's nice. I will play spikes on back, cuttle hex here, and four gun power. Okay, so I think it's uh, double root seeds here on back. Organ power. Unfortunately, we did not hit the Crypt Builder. It's Razor Sharp at back. Root Seeds. Uh, root Seeds. Organ power bottom. Organ power top for more incants. I think we can get away with this one. It's incant up top. We need it. Freeze the boss. And we're gonna get out of here without that much of a problem. That's great for us. Good, good. No damage taken. Offering token is a good card here. Another razor sharp. Do we want that? Or maybe we get the Wildwood Sap. Some form of healing isn't bad.
yeah. I think it's decent enough here. It goes away. We get our multi strike here. We also get a nameless siren as well. So. Also, Animus of Will here. That's our multi strike. Means we can. Hmm. Do we need damage here? Plus two, plus two every turn. I don't think that's gonna be enough. Let me get the Nameless Siren. If I get the Animus of Quill here, the Infusion... I don't think I'd have enough damage with that. But with the Rage Siren, I think I will. Hmm. Shit, the Animus of Will here. That's built in multi strike, but I'm only scaling 2 per incant with some HP. Can go 3 hits on the floor with if I find another multi strike. And I'm already starting at 5, so there's not much penalty on the minus 15. I guess I just strengthen the incants here. More damage? Is that the is that the play here? I do have root seeds though. That's multi strike though. Don't think I can skip that. Might be hard to look for it later on. See double stack here. Plus 10. Minus 1 definitely on boot seed. Double stack? I don't think I want that. Let me reroll this. Remove consume. Maybe 20 consume. That's 20 consumes is quite enticing for us. I think I'll drop that on one of the Crypt Builders. Okay, we do see another Animus of Field here that we are gonna skip. There is money in the middle. Caverns first. Oh, there's your HP. I think I'll take that. And probably remove parts. This train stewards are bad. So we are gonna get rid of them. I can take another one and go down to 26. No, I'll take the money but not use it since we're going to a steel shop on the next ring. So we go with uh, 15 HP, 175 gold against Talos here. Okay, so it's gonna be Soul Guard into Siren. I think I will pop. this unit here and I can play for incants up top and I will I am gonna play shark bottom here um flash freeze maybe the boss here play steward there and double frostbite middle Let's play the cards. Maybe I should have chomp blocked with that, but 
guess that's bad. Let's encant here. I think we need the encant as high as possible here. Uh huh. How many encants can I play here? I can play two. Okay. Oh, and I missed both of the Crypt Builders there. How sad. Okay, I think the incants are strong though. Yeah, get through it. This is going to be a lot stronger once we do the infusion. I see quick. Um, spreading spores is a good minus two target. That also helps with the incants as well, I think. Quick though, do we want quick? Do we want quick? Channel song may be good as well. We plan to dupe some units. Can pull out one. Maybe pull out the sentry as well. All are good picks here. Quick, I think, is the least desirable among the three. Guess the minus two can also go into sharpen if you really need to. I think channel song is a better pick here. It goes away. Better in camp. Um, these cards, I don't think we need them. We have the line assembled. We just have to empower it a little more. Um, our cards are cheap though. Don't think we need Remorse or Ember here. So I'll go with Draw for now. Play here is go left. Definitely go left. Remove more train stewards. They're not spells. They're not good. We see endless. We pick endless. We put it on sentry. That's good. Incant armor 2 is strong on the siren. We reroll the shop. Sadly, we don't see something we like. Um, There is a possibility for me to get that large stone though. We go Titan Channel 2 here. Uh, banner says... Okay. There's an Eel Gorgon here. Now, question is... Do we pivot here? So, that's multi-strike. We can pump him up. We can infuse here, I think. I think Eel Gorgon is too hard to pass up here. So the play is gonna be Siren into Eel Gorgon. We can pump his HP damage so we have to care about his hp then survivability is gonna be a problem here we do have sentry here to clean up house hmm We do have good incant cards here, right? Yes. 
It's an eel gorgon, guys. It's an eel gorgon. Yeah, it's an eel gorgon. What do you say? Yeah. And um, with this amount of shards, it can go to 110 by selling the hoard and get that large stone into eel gorgon, pump his survivability up. But cuttle beard. I think Cuttlebeard is too good to pass up here. So I guess just a battle stone is gonna be nice. Good thing is I can keep the Cuttle Hex on the floor. We have four banner units though. Do I take this? No, I think we need the HP here on this guy. So we skip for now and go for next combat. And... Yeah. We let Shark do the work here. Drop Shark bottom. Soul Guard. Cuttle Hex Will Bottom Let's try to incant on top To unlock Soul Guard as our tank We don't fear Ember Drain Because Eel Gorgon stuff Yeah yeah, we try to unlock Soul Guard then. I can pull Siren out a strong way. Hmm. What's the play here then? I think playing the shark here is good. We incant behind and we frostbite for more incant. We almost unlock soul guard. Yeah. And we pull the siren, I guess. Play him at the back of the shark. Play for incants up top. Okay, good so far. Mm -hmm. Doing quite well, I think. Let's play that card there. Play shark here. Okay, do we get through this? Yes, we get through this. With that much spikes though, it's an almost loss, but we get through it with Soul Guard hitting so hard like a truck. Hmm. Glacial Seal? No. Frenzied Swarm is the card here for survivability. And I think you pick Preserved Thorns for more incants. That's four incants in one card. Divine Artifact here, I think. 
with so many cards, I think Forever Flame is good here temporarily. We go left here. We need to upgrade our units. Plus 25 maybe? Yeah. Shark takes that, I think. This plus 10 in Battlestone. I think I prefer another plus 25 if it gives me... Yeah. We take the large stone and the plus 25 and we're happy with that. Yeah. Strong steel shop. Ford says cheater's hand. Yeah. That's good. We can kick back the shark and get it back again. Where can we get an extra shark though? Over here. So this is the last three temples. Um, do I need to make the infusion now? I don't think so. We don't need to. We don't need to take so much shards right now. Can do the next two infusions later. That's gonna push us up to a hundred. Heaven seal. Can we deal with heaven seal? I think we can. With eel gorgon on the line, I think we can do this. I'd say quite comfortably even. I will hold on to, I guess, Razor Sharp here. Play Shark Bottom with Will. Um, I guess Offering Token counteracts the Razor Sharp, so I won't play that. I guess uh, Root Seeds, Sharpen, Forgan Power. Hmm. I think the hold here is, I guess, the Siren. Play Eel Gorgon. We can now play the Razor Sharp without that much of a concern. And we play card stop so that we can unlock Soul Guard as soon as possible. Okay, we do see our Preserve Form, which is 4 Enchants in 1 turn. That's good for us. Play the Flash Freeze on the tank bottom. Play Sh Siren Middle. I think there's not much to talk about in this run. That's gonna be good. Okay, the play here then is kick back Sentry. Then pull him back out. Unfortunately, we still have a Cuttle Hex chilling around, so that's bad. Uh, I think this play the Incans up top is gonna be good for us. And we do see Shark right now, so that's good. I will play him bottom here. Toss him... No. Play in cans up top. It's much better to do. I will play one Sharpen here. Okay. Let's play this card, this card, this, this, this. Frenzied Swarm and we don't take damage up top. We're looking for holdover now. Play Shark here. Incant, Incant, Flash is the boss. Sharpen up top, then just pump cards. Okay, can't play shark here, fortunately, but they do have enough incense here to win. Okay, that's great. Sigil seaweed is a very good card. 
Um, we do have AOE with Shark. We don't need Preserve, although it's a zero cost in Cant. Then can maybe hold on to key cards, but because we have four gun power, I think it's not a very good idea to make another Glacial Seal. No. Heal is good. A strong heal card is good. We're taking that. We go left here. The removals are Animus of Will and Cuttle Hex here. Yes. Siren's gonna go into Gorgon. We are gonna dupe the Shark here. Get an extra copy of him. Infuse the Shark. That's good. That's 70 HP. That's very strong. Let's see the caverns here. Um, fire health for artifact. Sure. Wing clippings. For my consume cards. I have two. Three. And these cards I am fine repeating. That's fine. Might see for a uh, forgotten that silence tome and think that's good. We go magic shop next string for more removals on four gun powers, probably. And I think he can take fell quite strongly, I suppose. I will kick out this ultimate penance, play shark bottom. We skip the curses. We play our cards up top and I think I will play the token on the penance because I want to play root seeds, root seeds. So that's three extra, one extra incant up top. Do want to crack him up as soon as possible. One of the mistakes here is not getting the shark um, duped and self-infused. I've made that mistake, I think, quite so many times that it's so ingrained in my memory. I think I will hold on to Channel Song here. Play out this curse and just unlock Soul Guard and toss a lot of organ powers on to fell. Pull over on the channel song here, I think. Play focus growth, um, root seeds, and just toss the organ powers here. Well, I guess I should be playing those on bottom, I guess. Um, I will hold on to the ultimate penance here. Pump more damage into our Gorgon. Toss that into Fell. I will hold on to the penance here. Play Shark Bottom. Get rid of the Curse Friend there. Offering token on curse. I don't want to take the curse damage. Yeah, doing quite well so far. Let's see, let's see. Um, I think I am gonna hold on to this ultimate penance. I think for quite a while. These curses are bad. I think I really need that heal on hold over or on minus two. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a good play if you can connect it during this combat. Okay. That's great. So strong so far. Siren Song is a good days card. We shall take it. And I think the play here is not space anymore, but draw. See more cards. Go left for the magic shop here. Removals here are most probably... Let me reconsider that. It is gonna be Titan Channel 3 here, maybe. Or is 15 stacks too long? No, I think it's Titan Channel 3 here with with uh, Gorgon. I think even if we don't um, unface Soul Guard on time, I think we have the ability to win. We are gonna do the infusion here. That's a hundred shards for you. You see a double stack here, which I will think play into Siren Song. That's a very strong play there. Plus 10 on this card, I think is decent enough. Minus 1 should go into the Razor Sharp, I would suppose. Remove consume. Hmm. Worst things? No, I don't think that's good. Minus one, I think, on Renzied Swarm. I think Root Seeds for now. Is a knife using cards in hand? No, not anymore. I, I'll, I'll rather play Root Seeds there than some other cards. Um, the cut here then should be Sharpens, I think. Forgun Powers, I think, are good. They are free spells. Sharpens are very hard to play. Let's cut both sharpens here. Then with 215 gold, I can go for another removal or another a remove consume. We are not seeing any more temples though. This temple says 10 in piercing and 30 magic power. Maybe that focused growth can take the plus 30? Do I want that? Maybe? Strong heal for Soul Guard in front. He is tanking for us. And that's the only way of form of heal we do have here. I think that's decent. Let's take that plus 30 into Soul Guard. I think that's strong enough. We can take a minus 1 on that. And the other minus one will probably go into maybe... Uh, where's that card? Frenzied Swarm. So we go with this setup. And I think we can take this win without that much of an issue. Okay. I will hold on to... I think the focus growth here so it's soul guard into gorgon drop sentry bottom he takes a lot of kills there and we just encamp here try to unlock soul guard as soon as possible um i will hold on to the dead weight here Play Titan Sentry bottom. Forgan power out the dead weight. In can. Um don't think I need this yet. I will play preserve thorns. 
consume this card. Um, play the stings up top. Then for gun power. Okay, I will hold on to channel song here. Okay, you know what's gonna happen with that card, right? Yeah, the forgotten powers are good staying on our cards. I think getting rid of those sharpens was a very good idea for us. Now we can play Channel Song and pump our shark with additional 2020s. That's gonna be good. Get rid of one forgotten power here. Then we incant up our soul guard to respectable levels. Yeah, that's great. Shark dies perfectly in bottom. Ooh, I can play Shark again with Channel Song and it's preserved. He's now 1 1 10 40. <laughs> Maybe you can get that one more time. Maybe. Let's see. I will play Focus Growth here. Sting. Uh, four gun power, four gun power. That's good. Our shark is very tanky though. Draw past this dead weight. Incant up our soul guard. No, our gorgon here. Sting, Sting, for gun Power. We do need to cut some for gun Powers out of this deck. Um, I will hold on to this one, I guess. Sting, Sting, Root Seeds, Root Seeds, Focus Growth for the heal. Did he get? No, he did not get Silence there, unfortunately. It's fine. Okay, we play Shark. Let's play the Root Seeds out, the Stings. Play this and that. Okay, and I think we win this. Is a 6130 guys. You were able to do it thrice on this run. Hmm, I think the pivot was correct in this one. I think we decided quite well on that and I'm happy about it. Um crystalline seeds it seeds is zero cost in can't I think that's good. Yeah. I'm not taking drain or taking hold over on that other card. And snare is a good card. We take it. Go right here. Check the shop. Do we are are we given hold over? Unfortunately not. Do have 765 gold. Priory rotioning scales boons. No. Root spit mask is good. Improved firebox is good. Totem Fragment though, it's just Flash Freeze, Reserved Thorns, is that good enough? Pip Builders, maybe, don't think that's good enough though. Vortex here is probably on, yeah, you guessed it, some Forgun Powers, that's too much. Okay, double stack should go. I think that ensnare double stack is good. Yeah, put it there. Then magic power. Yeah, put it on this other crypt builder. Minus one should go in. I think focused growth. Yeah. Reroll this. Hold over. Yes, that's good. Now, 
This holdover, I think, is gonna go in Frenzied Swarm for sure. It's our survivability line. We want it. This minus one should go into Frenzied Swarm, of course. 20 consume on the Crypt Builder. That's fine. Trinket Shop says, I think. Root split mask, maybe? So that we never leak? Improved firebox, though, with lost luggage. What can we see on our opening draw, though? Hmm. So the worst is one, maybe shark, siren song. We're, we're not really playing these cards, though. I don't think we really need the improved firebox. What's the hell vent, though? Another ensnare? Another focused growth? Top off our front guy. Well, because of the day's card, don't think we need this that much. I think the play may be just do this razor sharp for more density, faster scaling. We are offsetting it with incant, so that's fine. Yeah, I think it's razor sharp here. Good dupe. Um, so it's just removal or something there. Split anvil. What's the most expensive card here? Well, it only triggers for Siren Song, I guess. Makes everything zero cost, which is which already almost everything is. I think that's fine. Can play it on top. Yeah, I'll take Split Anvil there. That's fine. And I think the take here is probably Root Split Mask. I think that's the better take there. I think 130 out of 100, we secure this win without that much issue. And we'll take it. Okay. Three Ember here. One... I think I'll hold on to Siren Song for now. Play Soul Guard, Shark Bottom. I will play these cards here then. Okay, that's good. Clean. Clean Death. I will hold on to, I think, focus growth here. Shark bottom. Root seeds. I think it's too risky. I, I will play frenzied swarm here. Okay. Shark dice, perfectly. That's good. Um, I will hold on to... And stand. For now. Shark bottom. Preserve thorn stop. One, two, three. Razor sharp. Um, I will heal up for two draw and I will burn that card. That's good. Okay, the hold here is channel song, so we can make shark free on every replay. I think the forgan powers are dead now. Because of frenzied swarm, so unfortunately that just has to happen. Channel song here gets our shark free. 
That is good. You play the heal card because it gives two draw. That's a misplay. I think we take the win here. Print token, Crypt Builder, we play the damage on the Gorgon. Okay, good so far. Last cut for us. Kick Shark and Channel Song him back. I think we got it again. 100 HP on that Shark friend. Oh no. I don't like to gamble that. Probably not gonna do that anytime soon again. Might lose us the run. So just infant up, get our numbers to a very good and respectable level, and we're gonna be fine. Okay, one more replay of chart should be good and we are gonna be able to pump him up again 128.74 that is good heals and can great draw okay just pump more Okay, that's good. Very strong. Okay, we're under an hour and we're already in Divinity. That's good. You know you have a good run when that happens. I will hold on to Preserve Thorms and crack it next turn. Shark goes bottom. Okay. Not a perfect death for Shark, but that is fine. Hold on to Channel Song for Shark. Let's try to crack our Siren open. I think I missed on a card there. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, four incans to go, and we have shark or uh, soul guard on unlock. That's gonna be good. We do the channel song on the shark thing, and we play the rest of the cards up top. Let's kick this out instead. Okay. Shark, are you dead? No, Shark is not perfectly dead. I hold on to Channel Song here then. Okay, Soul Guard is on unlock already. Just play cards and win. Now you kick Shark. Get him back with Channel Song. Technically, Shark is costing one in this case sometimes, but I think that's fine. Okay, Shark perfectly dies. That's good. We don't hold over the Shark. Just drop him normally in bottom. He takes a lot of hits. That's fine. Kill the boss without any issues. We take the win here, guys. Nothing much to say. Okay, that's good. I think we did a very smooth pivot here. Yeah, take the win here.
Play shot bottom again. Heal up. We're not taking damage though, so there's nothing to heal up at the moment. I think we took two for the spikes. Okay, that's just good sigiled seaweed action. I think we identified this run quite well and take the win one turn before relentless. Yeah, very happy with that win. Did we get the groove back in Monster Train? Probably. I am gonna do another recording after this, so Runner G Gods, bless us. 58k, very strong run. Let's go to the run summary real quick. So, I think the decisions we took are correct. The pivot to Il Gorgon, I think, was correct as well. But I am considering, would we have won with the line that we were considering instead? Probably a bit more difficult because we had to take another extra unit. I think it could have skated by, I think, with uh, this much in Kant with what we built. Uh, spread did swarm, I think even without this, we could have won. And I guess I really like the interaction between Channel Song and uh, Titan Sentry. And I think that's good. The initial plan actually was to do it with Eagle Gorgon, but didn't really happen even once so yeah i think this is what one calls a straightforward run i suppose did had a pivot but i think that was fairly uh an always do or a no-brainer action so yeah we secure that win um it is the second winning streak but because of the first one having a lot of resets i think i'll consider this as the first one so yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you like this video, um, drop a like, I suppose. You can also drop a dislike. Um, I really want to see your comments guys on this video. So drop them there. Give me some insights, could help me learn. And I could share this with everybody for those other people that will read the comments. And as always, See you today. Thank you very much for watching.